Welcome to our presentation today, Enhancing Data Governance in Smartsheet. First, a word from legal. I'd like to point out two things on this slide. This presentation may contain forward-looking statements. Secondly, the names and logos of actual companies and products used in the presentation are the trademarks of their respective owners and no endorsement or affiliation is implied by their use. Hi, I'm Michael Sikilian. I'm Director of Product Management at Smartsheet. I work typically with system administrators as well as with IT on areas of governance and compliance. In today's presentation, you'll learn three things. One is how to leverage the built-in reporting in Smartsheet for visibility into users and usage and things that they create. Secondly, you'll learn how to enhance data governance through configuring Admin Center, as well as by adding a product called Event Reporting. And third, you'll be able to meet compliance requirements, both internal and external. If you have questions during this presentation, please leave questions in the chat and a member of the Smartsheet team will answer your questions. First, let's talk about governance. Governance is top of mind for administrators. One, one admin told me that Smartsheet had become the lifeblood of their company. What they meant was Smartsheet is being used everywhere for critical business processes and operations. And at the same time, the need for governance is also increasing. We tend to think of it at Smartsheet in four ways. One is visibility. How do we give admins and IT visibility into users and, and usage? How do we give them visibility into what has been created in Smartsheet? The second is guardrails. Setting right boundaries and guardrails is key on the organizational level so that the product may be used safely. Third is data governance. How do we protect our data and also prevent loss? And the fourth is compliance. Compliance is increasingly a part of the regulatory environment that we have to deal with as administrators and as IT. How do we comply with our internal organizational policies as well as with external regulatory agencies? First, visibility. So Smartsheet has a lot of built-in reports that you can use for visibility. The first is the user list report. It is a list of users, both licensed users and non-licensed users, their roles, for example, system administrator or group administrator, when they last logged in and when their account was created. The second is the chargeback report. And this adds three fields to the user list report, specifically department, cost center, and division. So if you're looking to do reporting by department or see usage within a particular division, you can do that using this report. Note that this requires the directory integration feature to be enabled. This enables you, if you have Azure Active Directory, to provision and deprovision users in Smartsheet. It also provides alignment with your corporate directory structure that provides the data for this report. The third report is the Sheet Access Report. This is a comprehensive listing of sheets, reports, dashboards, and forms, and more importantly, with their owners, and who they are shared to. It's important to note that these three reports are available only to system administrators um, and only through admin center. The fourth report that's useful is the activity log. The activity log is available on a per sheet basis. And what it will enable you to know is what are the changes that happen to a particular sheet over time? So for example, somebody changes a cell, uh, inserts a row or a column, or even views the sheet. You will be able to know who made the change and what the change was. And this is available on a per sheet basis and is available to the sheet owner as well as to a sheet administrator that the sheet has been shared with. So this is very useful if you have critical sheets and critical uh, areas that you use and you need an audit log for, and you also want to see how these have changed over time. So taken together, these reports, which are built into Smartsheet, will give you the ability to have more visibility and insight into what's happening. Secondly, let's look at ways that we can configure Smartsheet uh, and set guardrails and boundaries. The ones I'd like to bring to your attention are, 
First, the safe sharing list. For some companies, it's possible to share broadly with no restrictions on sharing. But if there are, but if you want to have more control, you can also say, here is a safe sharing list. These are domains and email addresses that it's safe for someone to share with outside your organization. And you can specify this within Admin Center. This gives you more fine-grained controls over sharing and enables you to manage user behavior and set the right boundaries that need to be set. The other is attachment controls. So files can be attached to sheets, to rows, and with this feature, you can decide where the files can come from, whether that's Google Drive or One, OneDrive or from the user's desktop, or you can disable that entirely if you want to. It's also possible to enable insertion of images into sheets or to disable that function. It really depends on your internal compliance and governance needs. Uh, the last thing I want to call to your attention is publishing settings. So you can choose whether a sheet or a dashboard is published uh, external to your organization or only internally within your organization. And this gives you more control. And all of these controls are within Admin Center under the security section. Next, let's talk about enhancing data governance. Typically, you have user actions. Users are creating workflows. They're collaborating in Smartsheet. You also may have a system called a data loss prevention, also known as a DLP or a CASB or another compliance app that you use to manage all of your cloud apps. Um, admins typically will create policies, alerts, and notifications in these third-party apps. If you have these apps um, and you want to connect the user actions in Smartsheet into these other systems, you need a product called Event Reporting. Event reporting is an optional add-in that you can get if you have an enterprise or a premier plan. And what it is, is it is a log of user actions as the users are creating and sharing and collaborating using Smartsheet. So the best way to think about it is the user actions will create events, which create the event log file. The event log file is the data that goes into your DLP, CASB, or compliance apps. Inside these apps, you're able to create policies, alerts, and notifications based on specific kinds of activities. For example, if a lot of sheets are deleted within a certain time period, or if uh, sharing is not within some of the boundaries that you've established, these apps will actually provide you a greater, a greater set of control. Now let's take a little deeper look at exactly what an event is. Um, the best way to think of it is there's users actions, and objects. So users are licensed users, they're non-licensed users, they're internal users inside your organization, external users, perhaps a business partner or an agency that you share with. Actions are things you do in Smartsheet, creating a sheet, attaching a file to a sheet, sharing the sheet. Objects are sheets, dashboards, forms, and reports. So typically, a user will perform a particular action and a particular set of actions will create an event. Now let's take a look at what a sharing event looks like. So this is a, this is a look at the event log of what happens when a user shares a sheet. Here, a user shared a sheet and you can see the event has a field called sheet and then add share. The user ID is the particular user that is sharing the sheet. The source is web app, means they did it inside Smartsheet. They also could do it via the API or via a mobile device. And then finally, who did they share it with? Another user, and the role that they shared the sheet at is editor with the ability to share. So taken together, one user shared a sheet to another user with uh, an editor privilege. Um, some customers ask, how do I get the username or email address of these particular users. And the way you would do that is you would use the Smartsheet API to add this data to the event reporting log. So you would take the log file from event reporting and then use the Smartsheet API to add, for example, sheet names, user first name, last name, title, email address. And that way you could integrate it into, into one of the other compliance systems that you have. Now let's take a brief look at another event, for example, attaching a file to a sheet. And you can see it's very similar. A user is 
creating an attachment to a particular row. This is the user that did it. And this is the attachment name. So this is a PowerPoint file called upcoming feature. So what event reporting will do is it'll run in the background and collect different events as users use Smartsheet. So just to, just to summarize event reporting, it provides the data that you need to implement a data governance strategy. It's a very detailed data feed on users, actions, and objects in Smartsheet, and it's designed for integration into another system. Most customers will integrate into a DLP, data loss prevention system, a CASB, or another compliance system, or a monitoring or database system um, as, they, as they need to, to get reporting. Finally, let's talk about compliance. Compliance is really important. Smartsheet, for example, has SOC compliance, which we have an annual audit for, but we also have specific, uh, specific compliance for different features. For example, if you are in healthcare and you need to be HIPAA compliant, we can help you in using Smartsheet to be compliant with HIPAA. As well as for FERPA, if you're in education and you're dealing with student privacy, we can help you meet the guidelines and requirements of FERPA. I'd like to call out a special version of Smartsheet called Smartsheet Gov. Smartsheet Gov is an instance of Smartsheet that has passed the rigorous tests of the General Service Administration for use in the US federal government agencies. This product is intended for use by federal government agencies as well as uh, companies that do business with the United States federal government. We are FedRAMP uh, authorized at a moderate level. Um, we also have IL-2 from DISA, which is the Department of Defense. So we're FedRAMP moderate and DISA, Department of Defense, level two. So if you have any questions about which version of Smartsheet to purchase, please contact your account team and they'll help guide you in the right direction for this. And there are many other things, for example, uh, GDPR and CCPA around privacy. If you have questions on that, please contact your account team and we'll help you uh, meet those requirements as well. So summing up, um, just enhanced data governance, Smartsheet provides admins with visibility and also controls. So the first is use the built-in reporting to get uh, the visibility that you need into users. Secondly, set the right guardrails and boundaries for users by configuring admin center uh, for your particular needs. Third, add event reporting if you need advanced uh, data governance, and also if you need to integrate with another compliance system. Fourth, if you have specific compliance needs, please contact us. Thank you. And I also point out that if you have questions, please continue to submit those questions via the chat, and a member of the Smartsheet team will answer your questions.